Welcome back guys, Rydog here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Animal Crossing New Leaf Re-Editor. It's a tool made by Slats. Um, so this is the features of the tool. I'm not going to go over all of them. You can figure them out on your own while you use it. Um, the requirements are that you need a Windows PC or a way of running Windows applications. I can make a tutorial later on how to use this on Linux or maybe Mac. But for now, um, just use Windows, or if you know how to use Wine, then try try using it on Wine. And you're going to need a way to access your 3DS files, like an SD card reader or something like that. Um, and your 3DS needs to be modded with a boot 9 strap. If you don't know what that is, I recommend you follow the 3ds.hacks.guide. The link will be in the description. And you also need the latest version of Godphone 9, um, which can be found here. I'll also put the link in the description. And you also kind of need a version of Luma that supports game patching. I believe it was added in 7.0, but for this tutorial, it'd be helpful to use either version 9.1 or later. Um, version 10 also works, but version 9.1 is has the highest compatibility with NTR. I do know that 10.0 was just recently updated with NTR support, but for the case of this tutorial, I'm going to stay on 9.1. Um, and you're going to obviously need a copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf. It needs to have the 1.5 update installed, so if you haven't updated yet, please do so now. It doesn't really matter if you have the cart version of the game, a CIA version of the game, or you simply stole this game from your older sibling. This tool supports all versions of New Leaf except Korean, so it also supports the Welcome Amiibo update. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your um, 3DS's SD card into your PC or connect it via FTP or micro SD card sharing, however you can get access to your SD card. So I'm just going to enter my SD card real quick. Okay, so this is my 3DS's SD card. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download the Godmo 9 script. It can be found over here, or you can go to the Releases tab. This is how you also download um, Animal Crossing New Leaf Re-Editor. I'm going to scroll down. So this is the um, Godmo 9 script you need. I'll show you how to copy this to your SD card. And this is the uh, zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this, opens in WinRAR or 7-zip, doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to create a, a folder on my um, desktop to put this on. So you don't need to name it anything, you could have untitled folder or whatever. So you're just going to drag and drop this onto the folder. And this is how you open up Re-Editor. So, um, first we're going to have to update Godmo 9. So, just scroll down and open up, the, download this zip file also. Whatever is the latest version you want to download, because you might release an update once this tutorial gets released. I'm going to open that and has a whole bunch of files. So what you want to do is in the Luma file folder, if you haven't if you don't have this folder, create it. You're gonna then um, create a payloads folder if you haven't already. And here is your payloads. So what you want to do is you want to copy and paste the Godmo 9 that firm or extract it or whatever. And click on replace if you haven't if you have any um, old versions. So then you're all set with that. Next, um, you're gonna create a God 9 folder or a GM9 folder if you haven't already. Inside that folder, you also want to create a scripts folder. If you and here you might have some scripts already, but what you want to do is. Um, this script that can either be found in the releases folder or 
um, from the, the main page of GitHub. You're going to copy and paste this to the GAB09 scripts folder. There we have that. And we should be all set with our SD card for now. So you're going to inject your SD card from your PC. And I'll be right back to show you what to do on your 3DS. All right, so this is what's going to be done on the 3DS side. Um, you're going to have your 3DS off, so if you haven't powered it off yet, just power it off. And with it powered off, you're going to um, hold down the start button and press the power button at the same time. If you've done so correctly, you should see a Luma 3DS chain loader screen. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to choose God Mode 9. If you don't see uh, God Mode 9 on on this list, you're going to have to copy the files back to your SD card, make sure that everything's correct. So you're going to choose, press A to um, choose Guide Mode 9. And um, on the bottom screen, you might see um, RTC errors or anything. It's OK to either press B to exit them, or you can set it if you want. Um, for this tutorial, I'm not going to set it for now. So I'm just going to press B. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to press the home key and this opens up scripts. So, or actually opens up another menu. From there, you're going to open up scripts, press A, and then you should see Animal Crossing New Leaf Re-Editor File Dumper. You're going to press A, this is going to open up a new script, and you're going to choose which region you have. So for this tutorial, I have original USA. And it's going to automatically start copying all the um, all the code files and all the ROMFS files if it, if it does so. And it's going to copy all those files into that directory. So you should be all set on the 3DS for now. I'm going to press A to continue. You can then press uh, start plus R to power off, or you can just press start to reboot. But we need to power off the 3DS and take the SD card out and put it back on the um, computer. OK, so we're back on our computer. And we're going to insert our SD card back into our PC. And you should see a new folder that says Animal Crossing New Leaf Re-Editor. What you're going to do is you're going to um, Copy the folder, this folder to somewhere on your PC. Um, so actually we have to go inside the folder, original USA. We have to copy this ROM folder to somewhere on our PC. So since I already created a, a folder for the re-editor, I'm just going to copy this folder here. Now, we're going to launch um, re-editor now, if you haven't downloaded it yet. And we're going to do file, open. And we're going to choose the ROM folder. I'm going to select that folder. And now it shows us which um, options we want to choose. So for this tutorial, I guess you can go through anything you want. I'm going to just make, I guess, a weather editor, heavy rain with thunder and lightning. Um, I don't know anything else I want to do. Player speed, I guess, normal. Speedy. Yeah, let's do speedy. Speeding bullet. Disable Rossetti. Uh, mosquitoes never bite. Walk over everything. What else? Race buys items for their sell price. No coin buys. Nilo buys. I don't know if I want to choose any of that. Bypass, region checks. That's all that's all um necessary. Instant text, command keyboard. Camera zoom out. Let's make it, can we make it zoomed in? Let's see, large, no, small, tiny. Let's do that. Um, there's nothing here yet, but if there's any, any updates to this, you just probably have to check on GitHub or Slats uh, Discord. You'll be able to see updates. I think I'm all set for that. Item phrase changer, there's a tight. There is a table of all the item prices that you can change them if you want. I'm not going to do that. 
Uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, like I, I disabled her SETI, mosquitoes never bite, walk over everything. What else? What else should I? Uh, I guess all I'm gonna do music always has the echo. And I did weather changes, and that should be all set. Player, player speed. Okay, so what you're gonna do is file, save. Saving has successful, so it creates a, a folder on your the root of your SD called called Loma. I mean, not well. It's gonna create a folder on the root of your work directory called Luma. So what you're going to do is from the um, root of your SD card, so if you don't know how to access it, it's your PC and your 3DS or your SD card. You're going to copy and not the not that one, the Luma one. You're going to copy and paste this to your 3DS. And should have asked to uh, replace or merge any files, but I guess it didn't. Imagine, let me try one more time. I'm going to copy to 3DS, replace the files, and you should be all set. Uh, just You can just double check to make sure that everything's all set by going to Luma and then um, Titles. And then this is your Animal Crossing's title ID. Um, it could be 198D, E, F, or 862. I'm going to go in there. And you should see code.bin in this. And then ROMFS if you have any changes. I have some special changes with mine, but that doesn't really interfere with the um, re editor search. This is all said on the computer side. You can go ahead and eject your SD card, and I'll see you back on the S3DS. Alright, so we're back on the 3DS, and before you turn on your 3DS, or if it's on, I'm going to turn it back off. We just need to make sure that we have um, game patching enabled. So, um, while booting on your 3DS, you're going to hold the select button now. This opens up the 3DS uh, Luma settings. So hold down select, press power, and on the top menu you should see something that says Luma 9.1 or Luma 8.0. I, I guess the highest com com compatibility would be Luma 9.1 or older. And you're going to scroll down to see enable game patching, make sure that has an X. Mine already has an X, so you're going to press start to save. And your 3DS should automatically boot. Alright, so for the rest of the tutorial, we'll be on my 3DS screen. And um, with your 3DS on, you, you all you need to do is launch Animal Crossing. And if you want to add any extra add ons, like any extra plugins, you can also launch Antiero alongside with this. And you can also enable Luma plugins if you have any. And go ahead and launch Animal Crossing. And you should see the changes take effect immediately if you've enabled the right settings and you put the files in um, correctly. As you can see, let's see if it shows up, but um, since I chose Thunder and Lightning for my weather, my when I launch Animal Crossing, the Thunder and Lightning should be showing up. And you can also hear the echoing music. So I'm just going to mute myself for the remainder of the tutorial um, for your viewing pleasure to see while you watch me use all the new cheats.
All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to thank Slats for creating this awesome tool. Any support or questions, troubleshooting you need, um, feel free to do join the Discord in the bottom. This is uh, Slats' personal Discord. Um, you can use that to troubleshoot if you have any problems with this or any support you need. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put a comment below. Either someone will reply to you or maybe I can try replying to you. And yeah, yeah. enjoy.